The Siege of Plataea was a conflict fought in 479 BC between an alliance of Greek city-states, led by Sparta and Athens, and the Persian Empire of Xerxes I. In the midst of the tumultuous Second Peloponnesian War, a conflict that pitted Greek city-states against each other, the city of Plataea found itself caught in the crossfire. This is the story of the Siege of Plataea, a tale of honor, betrayal, and the struggle for survival. The year was 428 BCE, and the mighty Spartans, having already ravaged the region of Attica and plagued by the fear of the Athenian plague, turned their attention towards Plataea. This small Boeotian city-state, an ally of Athens, held no strategic value and had done nothing to provoke an attack. So why did Sparta march upon Plataea? The answer lies with their ally, Thebes. Plataea had once stood alongside Athens during the historic Battle of Marathon against the Persians in 490 BCE. In recognition of their bravery, the Spartans, after the decisive Battle of Plataea in 479 BCE, had sworn to protect the city's independence and defend it against any unjust aggression. However, the attack on Plataea by the very Spartans who had sworn to protect it was a severe blow to their honor. King Archidamos of Sparta offered the Plataeans a choice, abandon their alliance with Athens and join Sparta or at least pledge neutrality. But the Plataeans knew that Spartan promises were hollow, for Thebes, driven by its own ambitions, desired to possess Plataea. Desperate for a solution, the Plataeans sought a truce to request permission from Athens to surrender. They hoped for a chance to negotiate with the Spartans, realizing that they could not be rescued without Athens' military support. However, Athens refused their plea, urging the Plataeans to remain loyal to their alliance and promising assistance. With their plea rejected, the Plataeans found themselves at a crossroads. They had to make a difficult decision, submit to the Spartans and betray their alliance with Athens, or stand firm and defend their independence. In the end, the Plataeans chose to reject the Spartan demands, refusing to compromise their principles. King Archidamos proclaimed that Plataea was responsible for the consequences of their decision, accusing them of rejecting a reasonable offer. The Spartans, determined to conquer Plataea, launched several failed attempts to storm the city's formidable walls. Despite being defended by only 400 of their own men and 80 Athenians, with the support of 110 women who cooked for them, the defenders held their ground. The defenders relied on their robust walls to withstand the enemy's onslaught. In September 428 BCE, the Spartans initiated a siege, constructing a palisade around the city and stationing troops to guard it. King Archidamos ordered the construction of an embankment behind the palisade, intending to match the height of Plataea's walls. Over the course of 70 grueling days, the Spartans built the embankment using earth, stones, and logs, hoping to gain an advantage. Meanwhile, the resourceful defenders of Plataea used wood from their own city structures, and even acquired some materials from the enemy through a secret tunnel, to bolster the height of their walls facing the embankment. They also built a second inner wall to further fortify their defenses, forcing the attackers to restart the process if the outer wall was breached. The Spartans attempted to breach the outer wall using battering rams, but the defenders cleverly dropped large chain beams onto the long metal tipped rams, rendering them ineffective. Frustrated, Archidamos resorted to setting the space between the embankment and wall on fire, hoping to weaken the defenses. The Plataeans feared that their walls were lost, but a timely rain shower extinguished the flames. As winter approached in September 428 BCE, Archidamos ordered the construction of a more substantial double wall around the city, and half of his forces were sent home for the season. However, in a daring move on a stormy night, 200 Plataean defenders managed to scale the Spartan wall using ladders, evading detection. After a brief skirmish, they escaped and made their way to Athens. Left with dwindling supplies and faced with starvation, the remaining defenders of Plataea had no choice but to surrender in the summer of 427 BCE. The Spartans could have taken the city by force earlier, but they refrained from doing so, as they wanted to claim that the defenders had willingly defected if peace was to be established with Athens. Following the surrender of Plataea, the Spartans made a promise to the defenders, a fair trial before a panel of five Spartan judges. However, the trial was a mere formality. Each defender was asked whether they had assisted Sparta or its allies in the war, to which they all had to answer negatively. This allowed the Spartans to justify their actions. Tragically, as a result of their responses, approximately 200 Plataeans and 25 Athenian men were sentenced to death. The remaining women of Plataea faced a different fate, being sold into slavery. Eventually, the Spartans handed Plataea over to Thebes, their ally, which raised the city to the ground, erasing its existence entirely. The land was divided among Thebes' own citizens, and the territory once known as Plataea became part of Theban territory. The siege of Plataea was a source of embarrassment for all parties involved. 
The Athenians, who could have released their loyal ally to negotiate reasonable terms with the Spartans or provided the military assistance promised, failed to do either. The granting of Athenian citizenship to the surviving Plataeans proved to be an inadequate compensation for the loss and suffering they endured. The tragic fate of Plataea serves as a reminder of the devastating consequences of war and the shattered promises that often accompany conflicts. As history unfolds, more tales of honor, betrayal, and the struggle for power will continue to shape the ancient Greek world.